Rachel, you say the ground hornbill has such a deep, low call. That's just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, Just sit and listen for a bit. Mm -hmm. We're in no rush this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who needs a radio in the morning when you've got sounds like this? We don't need to blast music when we get up in the morning. We've got the sounds of the animals to wake us up. So this is a group of seven, family of seven, a family with a dominant male or an adult male, an adult female, and then a collection of their offspring of differing ages. There's one very young one or relatively young one, I'd put it a, maybe there, that, I think that's it there, on the right. Is that the young one? Oh, it's a young-ish one. You can see that flap of red skin isn't fully developed. But there is an even younger one in this mix. And that's what hornbills do, cooperative breeders. The males and the females of their previous offspring will stick around and as I said, regardless of whether it's a male or a female, it's not a, it's not a gender related thing. They'll stay for years with their parents and help them out with the previous set of offspring. In a way, similar to what Jack will do. Jack will do something quite similar as well, although not for as long. But a set of cubs will, oh sorry, not cubs, pups, naughty Jamie, jackal pups will stay and help their parents and you get these beautiful little families that develop. I'd love to show you jackal pups. But anyway, we're straying off, off topic. For those of you that are new to these live safaris, these beautiful, beautiful birds are endangered, and that's why we record each and every sighting of them. Some of them are tagged for research purposes and monitoring purposes, and just trying to get an idea of their population, and also, quite frankly, to understand a little bit more about them because that goes a long way in conserving a species. Understanding of a species will mean that we know how best to go about saving it, whether it be wild dogs, leopards, or birds like these ground hornbills. They're very big birds. They're roughly the size of turkeys. And those, perhaps some of you have had experiences in the Kruger Park where the hornbills have come up and attacked your vehicle. Some of the hornbills in the Kruger have got so comfortable with people that they do exactly what their smaller cousins do, the yellow-billed and the red-billed hornbills, that attack their own reflection in, in, vehicle, in vehicles, whether it's side mirrors or on the side of the vehicle itself. And ground hornbills do the same thing, and I know a couple of people with interesting new scratches in their paintwork and some very lovely stories to tell about it. If you're gonna have your car scratched, I guess it might as well be from one of these chaps. 